Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It's time for some more NBA 2K17 in the series where I try to win the NBA championship as every single NBA team. And so for this one, I'll be playing as the Oklahoma City Thunder going up against the Toronto Raptors. Now when I go ahead and I do matchups uh, and decide who's going to be playing who, all I do is I just take the standings from the previous year and just try and match it up with people who... Um, are even so like number one in one conference will play number one in another or division you know stuff like that but I think this really illustrates just one of the things I think is true about basketball one person really makes the greatest impact on a team plus or minus and so what I mean by that is you know in the NFL you could have one new person on the roster and that's not really going to impact things too much uh, same thing with baseball but in basketball like just changing one person out can make a larger impact than any other sport and so that's definitely true here is Oklahoma City while losing Kevin Durant in the offseason really makes it so I'm outclassed here by Toronto it'll be difficult I gotta have defensive plays like this and I'm also going to be focusing a lot on some perimeter shooting just to try and get us some good shots like this one three-pointer from Robertson in the corner there but Toronto's going to go ahead and answer back with a three-pointer of their own. And that was, you know, on a fast break right there, too, which just made it all the more sad. Sweet pass to the inside. And I'll go ahead and expand my lead here just a little bit. So, tried a few times to get in the paint just like this one, but it's really, really difficult for me to be able to do. I've stopped pretty quick. Fortunately, when it comes to rebounding, I'm holding up pretty well here against the Raptors uh, as I mentioned you know it's gonna have to be some good shooting but up tempo type of plays like this I think it'll also be key too, just to try and exploit any weaknesses that Toronto might have as they're kind of running back uh, on defense to this side of the court so Payne getting it inside oh dang it I've double teamed go ahead and get it back nice a lot of three pointers here early on we're shooting actually very very well but it's the only way we're gonna be able to stay in this one Westbrook Long two-pointer. That one's not going to make it. Cantor with the rebound. We'll give it back to Westbrook at the top of the key. I'll go ahead and drain that three-pointer too. Toronto now only two points away from us. And so I've got to play pretty smart. Nice move in front of the basket. I'll have to keep that up here. Now I'm trying to be smart with how I pass the ball around too. Some great rebounding though. For my team here in the first half. Oladipo. Nice. You know, at this point here, if I hadn't been able to drain as many threes as I have, I would definitely be down at this point. And so it's really paying off. Nice move, except I missed the dunk. Dang, that's a long three-pointer. Westbrook drains it. Look at that. Five more three-pointers than the Raptors. So if I would have stuck with twos and be able to make that one, I'd only be up by two points now. There we go to Oladipo again. This is just raining three-pointers all over the place. I'm liking this. Ooh, got around me. Dang it, another one here where they answer back with a three-pointer of their own. And you might have seen this here, but the bench of the Raptors has outscored me by eight points. And that's not something that I typically see. A lot of times, I really focus myself on uh, just great bench play. That doesn't seem to be the case here. It's actually kind of one of my weak spots. Nice behind the back pass. No look to Oladipo. He's going to get two points off of that one, too. All right, getting back on defense here. Ooh, nice shot. Toronto's had some good ones here today, too. Making sure that they're kind of keeping up with us here. But just about ready to hit halftime. We'll see if I can sink a shot here right before. Pass over there, and then the dunk. That's the second dunk in a row that I have missed. And I actually went back, too, and I looked at the instant replay. It would have counted. If I would have gone ahead and just slammed that one home. <sighs> All right. One of the weaknesses of OKC here, I'm guessing. Ah, three in a row. Oh, my gosh. This is annoying. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead. And we're going to talk about the history of Oklahoma City instead. Now, 
This is actually something, uh, the history of Oklahoma City, it can be controversial depending on who you're talking to uh, and, and like where they come from here because uh, the first time that you saw Oklahoma City was 2008 and they moved from Seattle. And it's very interesting the relationship that Oklahoma City has with Seattle because they do have claim to their championship, which Seattle won in 1979, um, but they're, they don't recognize it sometimes. Like in 2014, a whole bunch of teams uh, got an opportunity to wear a gold stripe on uh, their jerseys to celebrate every single team that has won an NBA championship. And the Oklahoma City Thunder declined to wear that from when Seattle had won it in 1979. And so the, the deal is, and this was the most official thing that I could look up, is that they share the history if there's any team from Seattle that comes up in the future. So I don't know how you're going to share that type of history. Anyway, um, besides that, you know, they've been uh, in the postseason a number of times, won the conference title in 2012, and, you know, have been a, a pretty good team since then. But, you know, since I have been around since 2008, there really isn't that much to be able uh, to really talk about when it comes to their history. You know, retired numbers, um, you know, they've, they've got some of those, but... You know, again, a lot of that comes from the previous era. So, me as a Seattle fan, I'm not really going to go into it too deep here as far as the controversy goes because, yes, I feel one way about it, but um, I also respect the other side of it too. But, you know, a lot of controversy in how they moved from Seattle to Oklahoma City too, which is kind of sad that that, uh, you know, in the minds of some people really scars their feelings or uh, hurts their feelings of this team. But... You know, other than that, really, really new. Obviously, the newest team that we've got in the league. So, again, not too much history except just for that one point there. All right. So, let's get back to the game. Get the block. Westbrook with the rebound. It takes it coast to coast with an epic dunk to be able to finish this off. What has really been impressive about the Thunder here in this game is that we've been able to maintain a pretty good lead despite the fact that when it comes to ratings anyway... Uh, we are the weaker team here. Nice pick. Leaves him open to be able to get that three-pointer. And now we're only down by six points. I want to pass to the inside. Make that four. All right. We got to be very, very careful. After missing a shot, we're now down by two. Have to be very careful here in, with less than a minute to go. Russell Westbrook. Drains the three-pointer, and that is a huge morale booster for me. Now being up by five, I'm feeling like we've got a real chance at this. Oladipo with the steal. He's a little tired, but he's going to make the move under the basket. And just like that, we are now up by seven. Okay. Oladipo getting the pass. Going to split both defenders, except passes it off, and I make that shot. And now we are up by nine with 46 seconds left to go all right we should have this one in the bag miss shot and there we go oklahoma city thunder winning this one 87 to 78 a great game a lot better than i thought this one was going to go thanks for watching you guys i sure do appreciate it feel free to subscribe if you have not already there's going to be a lot more of these, so if your team hasn't been represented yet, they definitely will soon. Feel free to subscribe to me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz, but you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again for watching. As always, you guys, have a good one, and I'll cut it off here so that way you Thunder fans can enjoy this celebration.